in this question it is given this block is kept at rest on this inclined plane and this inclined plane is moving upward with elevated with acceleration a that means friction between the block and inclined plane should be static in nature we can analyze the block from elevator frame of reference that is non-inertial frame of reference whenever we analyze any object from non-inertial frame of reference we should take consideration of the pseudo force so let us make the free body diagram of the block with respect to elevator frame of reference the pseudo force on the block will act in the vertical downward direction opposite to the acceleration of the elevator so this is mass multiplied by acceleration and weight of the object will also act in the downward direction vertical downward direction this is mg we can combine these two forces mg plus a we can make the component of mg plus a parallel to the incline and perpendicular to the incline so this is the component mg plus a sin theta and mg plus a cos theta normal reaction will act on the object perpendicular to the surface toward the object that is n and friction force will be static in nature will act opposite to the sliding tendency in upward direction so this is the friction force small f and this block is at rest with respect to the inclined plane so here we can write f equal to mg plus a sin theta so this is the equation for equilibrium of the block parallel to the inclined surface and normal reaction from free body diagram we can write n equal to mg plus a cos theta this is the normal reaction now we need to find the contact force contact force is the vector summation of the normal reaction and friction force so here we can write n net equal to under root fx square plus n square so let us write the vector summation this is the mg plus a sin theta whole square plus mg plus a cos theta whole square so this will be the expression now we can take mg plus a common mg plus a common here and here also and this is a square we can take outside the under root so we can write mg plus a sin square theta plus cos square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 that means f contact should be equal to mg plus a now we can find the option second option should be correct right because it is given the contact between the block and incline is having magnitude mg plus a so this is the correct option